What's up? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and this is my 65 inch LG C10 OLED and tonight I'm going to be conducting a screen uniformity and burning test on it. Now this is something that I do normally once a month but this time I've decided to leave it for two months. Reason being I wanted to put some serious amount of hours on this TV and I'm pleased to say that I have done that now and we are now currently up to 3000 hours. Now, whilst I've owned this TV for just over a year, 3,000 hours equates to roughly three hours a day, every single day for three years. So that's some serious usage. So whilst I haven't physically owned this TV for three years, what I've done, I've compacted down that usage into a small amount of time. So I can tell you guys now if this TV is any good, when it comes to long-term use. And the good thing is that this TV is still available to buy. So if the test comes out to be a good one, you know that you can go out and buy this TV and have a bit more confidence when it comes to long-term use. Now, if you do appreciate what I'm doing with these tests, could you just spare me one second of your time just to reach up right now and hit that thumbs up button. Go on, do it now, only takes a second. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, again, please do so, really makes so much of a difference to boosting the channel. Right, cracking on then, and the first test that we're gonna do is the 5% grayscale, and it's been roughly 600 hours since my last test like this, and, uh, to be honest, I don't think there is a lot of change. So we do have the patchiness on the left as uh, we noticed before, so there is no change there. And we still have that darker patch just there, stretching up the side on the right. Also, we do have uh, some visible vertical banding as well. Um, I think that might be slightly, ever so slightly worse when it comes to the vertical banding, but the patchiness is exactly the same. So really not a big change. Moving on to the test then for any screen burn and any dead pixels. And uh, we're gonna take a nice close look at the screen. So starting off with a really bright white. So this is gonna be really interesting to see if there is any screen burn or dead pixels that are obvious. And I'm gonna be trying out some uh, different colors because screen burn can show up better on some colors than others. So stick with this test, please. And it may seem a little bit boring, but hopefully, fingers crossed, if all is good, like I said, it will give some uh, confidence to potential buyers out there. And uh, from what I can see, so far, on this white screen anyway, that is looking nice and crisp. So yeah, so far, so good. Now, if you haven't already guessed, blue is the next color that we're gonna take a closer look at. And uh, we're gonna pay particular attention to the corners, because that's where we generally get our static logos and uh, things that are stuck on the screen when it comes to gaming, so your heads up displays, that sort of thing, scores and whatnot. Looking at this, it's all looking very good indeed. So just coming up the left hand side now. And yes, that, Again, looking at center there is nice. So I think that is a pass for the blue. Going in close on green now then. And uh, if you are new to the channel, just want to let you guys know that uh, we do do a lot of gaming with these uh, TVs, or should I say this TV, so the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X. Uh, be some will play a game for hours on end, the same game, with the same heads up displays and that stuck on the screen. So again, this is a great test to see if there is any negative effects from that. Once again, I cannot see anything at all. Let's just take a closer look at the center there and pull back. That looks spot on. 
Very last color to test then is the red. And uh, generally this is the most problematic one when it comes to burning. So again, going in nice and close. And uh, once again, for anyone who is uh, new to the channel, I also watch a lot of movies on this TV with black bars, top and bottom. Lots of kids shows, the uh, children watch, again with uh, static channel logos in the corners. And I'm not seeing any evidence of any of those causing any issues with this screen. So let's finally just look in the center. And that, I think you will agree, is absolutely pucker. Well, how about that then? Another successful test, 3,000 hours approximately of screen on time or usage, mixed usage, gaming, watching movies, regular TV, and as you can see, all looks perfectly fine. So hopefully that will give some of you guys who are potentially looking to buy an OLED a bit more confidence when it comes to long-term usage. Once again, if you have appreciated this video, please spare me one second to just give me a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing on the channel, go check out the other videos and please subscribe. I wanna get up to 100,000 subscribers and uh, only you guys can get me there. So please help me out. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me today and hopefully I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.